Hi class and happy second week of distance learning if you are watching this and you survived your first week. Um, so today and this week we are still focusing on statistics, different types of distributions, data distributions. So the learning goal is summarize and describe data distribution. So we're going to have different pieces of data that we're actually going to be analyzing today and describing by calculating their mean absolute deviation or MAD. So if you are following along in your notebook and do have it at home, then we are on page 51 and I titled it MAD for mean absolute deviation. It's just an abbreviation to save time and space. Okay. And then we turn back to page 51, title it mean absolute deviation, or you can put mad in parentheses. All right, I dated it and page 51. All right, so first we're gonna start off with just the definition. Now, oops, I forgot the standard. Now, you guys, should have touched upon this at the end of sixth grade last year. Um, but we're just gonna retouch upon it this year because I know a lot of students don't remember it from last year. So, definition. We're just gonna write mad. Mean absolute deviation. So the formal definition is the average distance, the average distance between each data value and the mean. Okay, so let's write it down. MAD, it's the average distance between each data value and the mean. Okay, let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. So let's actually think about that. What does that mean? <laughs> mean, uh, what does that mean? So we know mean, mean is just the average. We, we did this last week, we focused on this, okay? Average, we know you do average by adding everything up and dividing. You add up all the data values and then you divide by how many data values there are, okay? Deviation, what does that word mean? To deviate, how much does it differ? How far apart is it? How much does it differ? So if all of you guys in the class, let's just say you guys were 12, and then we have a new student come in that is 15. Obviously he differs, he deviates from the mean, from the normal. So the normal score on average, you guys are all 12. He deviates three years because he's three years different from you guys. I don't care if he's three years older or three years younger. He's three years different. And that's where the word absolute comes in. Think about absolute deviation, those bars absolute deviation. So the absolute deviation of negative three is three. So basically what we're saying is we don't care if it's positive or negative. Sign doesn't matter. We don't care if it's positive or negative. Sign is always going to be positive when it's absolute deviation. Because remember, absolute, not deviation, the absolute um, value is how far away is this number from zero. So it's distance, and distance is always positive. So let's go over it now with the definition. MAD, it's the average distance. So on average, how far is each data value? So how far is each of these data values from the mean? How far do these differ or deviate from the actual average? So that's what we're gonna be calculating today, and there's three steps. Let me color code these so we can see the difference in the practice problems too. Okay, so step one. Step one. 
step one. Step one is find the mean. Find the mean or average. So find the mean of all the data. So that's what we focused on last week. So we find the mean, we find the average of all the data. And you can think about it. You add up every data point and divide by how many data points there are. Okay, so that's step one. Then we have step two. Step two is find the distance. So how far find the distance between each data value. Oops. Find the distance between each data value and the mean. So we're gonna find, first we're finding the mean of all the data. Okay, we're finding the mean, the average. Then we're going to find the distance, the deviation. How far does it deviate or differ? So we're going to see how far is each data value from the mean. And then the third step. Find the mean. So we're finding the average again. But instead of finding the average of all of the data, we're going to find the mean of the distances that we found in step two. Okay, so those are the three steps you should write down. If you need to pause the video to have time to write them down, do that at this time. All right, next I'm going to glue in, because I didn't know how much space this would take, this data, um, this table that you guys are more than welcome to write the numbers down on your notes. I know you're not gonna draw the whole table for the most part, but you're more than welcome to write the numbers down and the titles or just the uh, numbers so that you can practice along with me and do your notes in your notebook. So I'm gonna glue this in, just like we would in class. You can hear an airplane going over, an airplane. Okay. So, I'll do it a little bit better after the video. Class picnic sandwiches. So I'm gonna keep it a little bit more zoomed out. I'll zoom in a little bit, um, but I want you guys to be able to see the steps and the table. Okay, there we go. So, cheese, eight sandwiches for cheese. Ham, 10 sandwiches for ham. Tuna, four sandwiches for tuna chicken, 14 sandwiches. So step one, find the mean of all the data. So step one, put it right here. Find the mean. So I know mean is when we add up all the values and then divide. So step one, find the mean. So first we're gonna add them all up. Eight plus 10 plus four plus 14. You guys can do this in your head on paper or in your calculator. Okay, so at this time I would add those up for you guys. And you should get 36. I want you guys to be doing this with me. And then after that we divide by how many numbers we added, how many different types of sandwiches there are. One, two, three, four. So 36 divided by four equals nine. So that is the first step. We found the mean, we found the, the average of all of the values. Okay, step two. Now we need to find the distance between each data value and the mean. So we need to find the distance. How far 
is each of these data values from the mean, which was 9. So 8 is 1 away from 9, so I'm just going to put a 1 here. 10 is also 1 away from 9. Yes, technically, cheese is 1 less and ham is 1 more, so we could put a negative and a positive, but the key word is absolute deviation. So we don't care about if it's positive or negative. We always make it positive. Distances are positive. Tuna, how far is four away from nine? Well, it's five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's five away. Or you could do that by doing nine minus four. So it's five away. 14, how far is 14 away from nine on the number line? How many jumps from nine to 14? Well, 14 minus nine, five. So you put the distances there. Then it says step three. So step two, we found the distances over there. So how far each one was from the mean. And then we have step three. Find the mean of the distances. So mean, average, we have to find the average of these four distances. Finding the average of the distances, not the normal original values. So average, mean, first we add them up. So one plus one plus five plus five, which is 12. And then we have to divide by how many different numbers we added, which we added four numbers, three. So that is the mean absolute deviation. That's the final answer for the first example. But what does that mean? What does it mean that the mean absolute deviation is three? What it means is that on average, mean means average, on average, the number of sandwiches for each type differs or is about three away from the average. So it might be three more, it might be three less, but on average, each one is three away. All right. so. Now we're going to go on to our next type. We're going to do, let me see, do I have room down here? Nope. Okay. Let me do it on this side. And if this seems a little confusing, guys, that's normal. Seriously, mean absolute deviation is just another fancy word for standard deviation, which is like statistics which is a college level course. So you're, you're technically doing college level things right now. Like, I really don't think I learned this when I was in middle school. I learned it in AP statistics. Yes, these problems are easier, but still, you're, you're doing a pretty difficult concept. So just bear with me. All right, so what kind of pet do you own? Let me turn this for you guys. So if you look at the bar graph, the bunnies. Four people have bunnies. Okay. So step one, oops, nope, sorry. Eight people have dogs. 10 people have cats. Six people have goldfish and five people have hamsters. If you don't know how I'm finding it, we talked about data displays in the video when we did mean with it, but you just look at the height and see what number it's on over here. So, step one. So first we have to find the mean. We have to find the average for all the data. If you wrote down the notes from the other day, you would already have this answer, but let's calculate it together. So first we have to add up how many of each. So there's four of the bunny. There's eight of the dog. 10 of the cat, six for the goldfish, and five for the hamster. So first you add them up. 
I'm trying my phone calculator to see if it shows up better since it's lit up. 33. And then you divide. That song, the, the frog song, the um, flying flies <laughs> with the spider, they kept singing, you add and divide. And it's stuck in my head because we're doing it right now. So 33 divided by how many different numbers did we add? How many different types of pets were there? Five. So 33 divided by five is 6.6. .6. So that's the mean, that's the average. On average, 6.6 .6 people had a bunny, 6.6 .6 people had a dog, etc. Next, we have to do the distance. So four people had the bunny. How far away is four from 6.6? .6? So step two, find the distance. So how far is four from this 6.6? .6? Well, oops, what's that string? 6.6 .6 minus four, it's 2.6 away. So the distance for rabbit is 2.6. Okay, the dog was originally eight. So how far is eight from 6.6? .6? Remember, this is distance. We don't care if it's bigger or smaller. We just care about the distance. It's 1.4 away. The cat, the cat was 10. How far is 10 from 6.6? .6? 10 minus 6.6. .6. 3.4, so the distance is 3.4. Okay, goldfish, goldfish was originally six, and now it's 6.6, .6. so how far away is 6.6 .6 from six? 0 0.6 away. And then hamster, the hamster was originally five, and now we're gonna see how far is five from 6.6, .6. so 6.6 .6 minus five, it's 1.6 away. So what's the distance or what's the difference? Distance is just like different, so you subtract, okay? That's really important to know. Distance, how much does it differ? How much does it deviate? So you subtract. You subtract each point from the mean, okay? So then we found the distances or the differences. Step three. That's when we find the mean, find the mean of the distances. So we have to find the mean of these five distances. So first we add them up, 2.6 plus 1.4 plus 3.4 plus 0 0.6 plus 1.5. Remember, if you're adding these up vertically on paper, you have to line up the decimals plus 3.4, plus 0 0.6, plus 1.5. Make sure you are doing this on your own end. Okay, it's 9.5, 9.5. Okay, and then next we add, so first we added it up and now we have to divide. Divide by how many different types of pets there were? Five, so 9.5, divided by the five pets, 1.9. So the MAD, the mean absolute deviation for this problem was 1.9 pets. So that means on average, on average, these pets, they differed from the average by 1.9, okay? So those are two examples of mean absolute deviation. All right, in tomorrow's video, we're gonna do two more examples, but we're gonna use a dot plot, which gets a little bit harder, and then the, um, what, what are these called, pictographs, okay? So if you have any questions, guys, do not hesitate to text, call, email me anytime.